Today, I'm going to tell you why you should go for live concert. I'm telling you why I should go for live concert because I got a chance to go for I mean this is not my first live concert But I want to talk about this one because this one is quite packed for me like a three-day live concert because I love that concert That's what I'm going to tell you why you should go so I happen to find myself in this wonderful Christian non-denominational organization called Teen Salah Foundation and every year we organize a music slash dance concert called Taylor Kabash yeah, so Taylor Kabash is a creative con music slash creativity concert. Yeah, spoken word, dance, drama. Yeah, so this year I like, got a chance to go. Yeah. Most of the times, two two groups dominate this concert. I mean, the music group and the dance group. Yeah, in this area, we call them Alao Kwa and then Alao Creative. So, Alao Kwa is responsible for music, and Alao Creative is responsible for dance, speaking word, um, drawing, drama, and all that. So, Alao Kwa gave us a very hot, wonderful first ministration, and I loved it. <laughs> Now, one of the things that really blew my mind was this guy, this bassist. He came to minister on the bass. <laughs> Drama is going to blow your mind later in the night, honestly. Hey. <laughs> Reason number one why you should go for live concert because you get to meet your favorite people face to face one of the people that i fell in love with or i loved really really at the concert is this girl i, I can't find ways to describe her honestly <laughs> you just watch it What about Kiza is that she has a very powerful voice 
and when we say powerful what you're saying it's not about don't imagine it too don't think about it so far like so far there's power in the voice that's what i'm trying to say there's power in the voice when you hear with the voice you can you can feel that there's power in the voice i don't know how to explain it for you to but to see but then tasha cops kind of voice and she has stage presence even though she was standing there alone alone or no backing vocalist she could move the audience she could move the audience she could move control the audience you could let them you could feel like this girl is the audience they are going wherever she's going Um, one of the major highlights of this whole concept or this whole three-day program was the spoken administration. The wind will obey him. And what is in a man that he can say, go, your sins are forgiven. Was this for authority or for destiny? Missed anything during this program. It shouldn't be the spoken administration. Hey! Another planet. I mean, I, 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 it's, it's amazing to know that I was the one who gave who gave all those punchlines, who taught her all those things. So it's not, it's not easy. I don't have to flex. I don't have to show off. I don't have to tell you people that I did it. Eh, I mean, I was really <coughs> told that he wants a piece. He wants to write a piece. I was like, child, my mind. The next day, I sent her the piece. So you know, it's not, it's, it's, it's not, it's very hard being someone like that, like being a piece writer. It's not easy. I mean, you can decide to disagree, disagree with me, wherever she is. I don't know where she is right now as I'm posting this video. If she's in Ghana, if she's not in Ghana, yeah. But I mean, Charlie, she can decide to do anything she wants. But I know that I wrote that thing for her, and it's amazing. I mean, I give glory to God. Yeah, I begin to love the Lord. Another reason why you should go for live concerts is that you get to enjoy live music with your friends. And I don't know how many of us really enjoy that thing. I really enjoy it, man. When I go to I go for a concert. And I'm enjoying live music alongside a lot of people. It's, it's just a, it's an amazing feeling. It was time for praise and worship and my shalev. So go for live concert because you get to enjoy live music with your friends. Just look at the way people are enjoying it. <laughs> Oh, do you remember I told you about my boss? Yeah, the boss who taught Bluto how to play down. Yeah, <laughs> he didn't come to joke. We have here uh, international drama, the drama who taught Bluto how to play down. <laughs> Uh -huh. So yeah, today he's here. <laughs> That hip hop switch. Ah. Ah. One of our main um, special guests, or one of our main guests, was Nanamwa. <laughs> It's the atmosphere he brought into the concert room. I don't know how he does it. Yeah, I mean, it's something they learn. It's something you have to have as, a, as an artist. Yes. So the atmosphere just it completely changed. Honestly, it just changed. It just changed. And I don't know where I ah, just went to a, a different level. <laughs> Yeah, I think you're having a chance.
Nana Mwa made sure that wherever he was going, he wasn't going alone. And that he was going with his audience. He was going with the whole congregation. And that was that is, that is amazing. I mean, that's one of the basic things. Every artist you learn during your life in the show, so wherever you went, we went. Wherever he was going, we went there too. He took us along with him. I mean, I'm talking in with regards to worshipping, with regards to prayers. Yes. <laughs> His band. Oh God, is it M? Also narrow it down to the drama. Hey. <laughs> ah God, <laughs> I'm feeling hot right now. <laughs> <laughs> Hey! <laughs> oh, Jesus! I just have to play the video for you to see. I cannot believe my eyes. So yeah, that's it for Taylor Kabash. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please, I am back. Yes, I am back. So please, share this video for other people to also see. If you like this video, like, hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed. Hit the like button to help me with the algorithm. Yeah, please, I've been away for almost two months. So please, my channel has gone a little bit down. So please, let's help push this channel up. So the algorithm can help us. Come on. Yeah, amen. God bless you, pa.